Hello everyone. Welcome again to K Podcast. Now I know that this I'm gonna say this before we start this video. Trigger warning. Trigger warning to everyone. Um if you don't want to listen to this record because this is it's said to be a voicemail that a voice record that he sent that Andrew Tate sent to a girl that he actually essayed and he actually did not apologize really I, I, I didn't hear any apology but from this uh, particular content creator he did say that you know he sent out his voicemail and it, it sounded more like a brag on his side and this kind of shows you the kind of person that this guy is it shows you the kind of person that he is and this is the thing the the more and more a, like topic that it com is coming out because of this case and the fact that there is a record like, like that there is a voice record like this that is now out here because i want you guys to listen to this and for those alpha males that are out there talking about oh the, the great g the big g or whatever g you call him is this the kind of man you would want for your daughters if you if you have daughters i understand some people don't even care about their daughters because some of these men i don't think if they even do really care about their daughters if they would have daughters because there is no way on heaven that you would have a daughter or you would know that in future you might have a daughter and somebody might actually talk about your kids your, your daughter in a particular way or actually talk about women in a particular way and this is somebody that is not even ashamed and actually sent this his own victim this voice record now i'm gonna like i said before i started this video trigger warning seriously if you if you don't want to listen to it you can pass and then come back later on when i have my own uh when i have my commentary because this is sickening so i'm gonna let you guys listen to this voice record that he sent it is absolutely disgusting absolutely disgusting and you should hear there is no actual remorse in his voice while he was sending this voice tape to this lady no i am sorry not nothing like that it's mostly just boast is this the it, it, that makes that is even more afraid it makes me even more afraid is this what he's been teaching in his class is this how he's been teaching all these men that are being out here talking about the great g big g or whatever g. is this the kind of person it it, it it frightens me to think about if he had really sent this record to this lady because they said it actually they brought it out so that the rest of you know the evidence had been leaking recently i'm starting to look at any man that actually talk about and retain in a good way sad ways because it's giving me complicit it's giving me complicit and especially if you have been following him for a long time i'm pretty sure you've heard worse than we we in the outside have heard and if you continue talking about his top g then you know you're an accomplice you know what this man is all about and yet you wanted women to listen to the nonsense that they have to spew yeah, my thing is this. I mean, like, I've watched a couple of content creators just try and gloss over the recording. And it's, to me, really um, telling. Like, why are you glossing over something that is pretty obvious? But I want you guys to hear the recording because this is really um, what has convinced me to understand um, that, yeah, you can't really say that he's not guilty in my opinion of at least you know a couple crimes here which i've already gone over the tax evasion just like the sexual crimes i wasn't too sure about but this in itself kind of tells you what's up but let's continue you you are just exactly the same like him because at this point if i hear any man talk about Andrew Tate in the good way, I know that it's not, that's not somebody you want to be messing around with, ladies. You don't want to mess around with any man that talk about this man in a good way, especially after you finish listening to this voice record. 
So let's just start. Let, let's go. go. Andrew Tate wrote, I love raping you to a woman who then contacted the police a few years later. He was accused of raping this woman back in 2013 and was then arrested in 2015. Vice World News just released voice notes sent by Andrew Tate to this woman. And you're about to hear his voice. Am I a bad person? Because the, the more... You know, before we, before we, we continue... So this happened 2015. So this did not happen recently. And this is somebody that had continued having a cause, an alpha male cause, and t telling them. Also, one other thing. It's been, it's several complaints like this where um, women are forced um, to have sex with this guy or whatever in different capacities. One, they said most recently happened. Then also, the lady who comes forth in 2013 that causes him to get arrested in 2015 said that there were two other women with the same complaint. So to me, it's like it's a it's a long paper trail of this. And it's not like people keep saying that it's a matrix thing. It's not a matrix thing, because if it was a matrix thing, then how come specifically people who um, have been complaining about this since at least 2013? That doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, you're saying that they were able to tell in advance that he was going to be, you know, a part of a social media platform that they were going to be against. That doesn't make any sense. That's not that's not realistic here. It's quite clear that this is a consistent um, problem for him and a consistent complaint from women before he was really even known. So to me, it's interesting. And what I've heard about other things I'm going to get into later. Let me just put this, uh, let me uh, let this go through. Them how to be top G's. Like at this point, if you're a woman and you know any guy that is telling you about and that he's a great guy, top G, oh, he makes sense sometimes, that person is an accomplice. That person is somebody that you shouldn't be messing with. Because if this... I don't want to know because the fact that he had like classes, how to teach them probably how to pimp, probably because they were, what was he teaching them how to do crypto because there was no other how, how to go get a job. No, he even talks about him having a, 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 a camp service. So was it, was it how to teach men? how to, you know, build up the women's back and also, you know, all uh, anything that has to do with toxic, toxicity. Because at this point, I think women have to take this case very seriously and start evaluating the men that come out here and speak nice about him. At this point, stay away from them because I don't want to know. If this is coming out in the light, we don't, you, I'm going to say this. We don't want to know what's been going on in the deck. We don't want to know what's been going on in those classes that he's been teaching. We don't want to know what he's been teaching them. We don't want to know what he's been teaching them. Let's continue. Am I a bad person? Because the, the more you didn't like it, the more I enjoyed it. I fucking loved how much you hated it. Turn me on. Why am I like that? That is an animalistic behavior. How can you enjoy hurting somebody? That is beastly behavior. Even the animals in the wild don't act like that. That is worse than an animal. I just go back. Am I a bad person? Because the, the more you didn't like it, the more I enjoyed it. I fucking loved how much you hated it. Turn me on. Why am I like that? Why? I am one of the most dangerous men on this planet. Sometimes you forget exactly how lucky you were to get fucked by me. Would you rather me pin you down and make you do things you didn't like, or would you rather fuck?
You didn't like that I was thinking I can do whatever I want to. That's what it is. I'm the smartest person on this fucking planet. Are you seriously so offended I strangled you a little bit? You didn't fucking pass out. Chill the fuck out. Jesus Christ, I thought you were cool. What's wrong with you? Now, can we please stop defending this man? Andrew Tate needs to take responsibility for his action. Let him go. Just get over it. I'm not begging anybody to please let him go. I say hold on to him and tell me who you are because at this point, I don't need people to start. No, no, no. When once you say this, I'm going to leave this video up because I want women to always come back and see this video. Anybody that says anything about Andrew Tate, you don't need them to. I'm not going to tell men that are grown up to please let this man, this animal, there's somebody that speaks like that in that record. My thing is this. Uh, I, my thing is, my take on Andrew Tate is, well, obviously, he said those things. Uh, we can all hear his voice. It's him on there, on that tape. No one's denying that at this point. It's clear that he assaulted, sexually assaulted a woman. Um, and on top of it, it's not just that. You can also hear, like I said, on the um, other um, claim, the other person who um, had the, um, who was the victim, who was sent this disturbing message, specifically said there were other complaints like this. And the things he did, um, to me, it seems like it's a habit. And maybe this is the way he gets off, Um and I think because he has those tendencies, he has a hard time in communicating previously to the encounter that this is what he wants to do. I think because in some cases, like hers, where they weren't really willing to have sex in the first place, um... I think people like that with those tendencies sometimes find that that's an opportunity to indulge in that. And to me, honestly, with people like that, I mean, you wouldn't want to be involved with them sexually. But I mean, like, there are certain content creators who um, seem to support him. And you could tell they have those tendencies. I frankly don't care. I listen to them for other reasons. Um, I think that some people like who have defended him or had some um, sense of ignoring this, because I've seen some content creators actually listen to this whole um, tape and totally ignore it as if it was normal to say things like that um, to a, anyone for that matter. Um, and that's because it's relatable to them, I think, in those situations. I think it doesn't mean you don't have to listen to them. It just means on that issue, I wouldn't put much into how they feel about that situation because, you know, they can relate. Maybe they have tendencies. I guess you could say rapey ten tendencies. Um, but if you really think of it, when people have rapey tendencies, to me, the way I see it with those situations is there's people who are rapists, and I would say Andrew Tate is a rapist. People who have, like fantastical stuff or whatever to me i don't hold anything against them or anything as their personal thing they want to try and put andrew tate into that category sometimes to absolve him from what he said here and to me i'm like um no it wouldn't you wouldn't see that kind of behavior from someone like that because the victim would not be saying that it's that they were, you know, um, assaulted and bringing this information forward. They wouldn't bring this information forward because they would be like, this was consensual and this is something we just talk about, like in a way where we enjoy it, talking about that, basically. Because, you know, people have rape fantasies. Um, some people want to have that done to them and some people want to do it to other people, you know. That's just their personal business. Personally, for me, I'm a very dominant woman, so I would never have such fantasies, you know, and things of that nature, so I don't understand it, but I understand some people do, you know. 
So my whole point here is you can't say it's like a role play situation because the other person on the other end of that was not acquiescing to a role play. So clearly it wasn't a role play situation. Um, added to the fact that obviously Andrew Tate is obviously has admitted to sexually assaulting one of his victims. Um, he's also admitted to other types of violence, like um, breaking a woman's jaw in the past. Um, so I do think he is capable of um, a lot of different violence towards women. I don't think he regularly is violent to women. I think it's different women, different situations. If he gets um, a woman who basically isn't acquiescing with him and he's not picking properly, then he runs into situations like this. He, he needs to pick properly. He's sometimes you can see that he picks properly. Like for example, the lady who he was, um, basically whipping in that one video, um, that came across and people thought he was beating up a woman. I think he was picking properly in those situations where he's picking a woman who enjoys the type of um, sexual interaction that he does and will basically acquiesce with his own fantasies and things of that nature, you know. But obviously in this situation, that was clearly not the case. And um, in this situation, from what the lady's story was, she specifically said he said that he was trying to figure out whether he wanted to rape her or not. So, I mean, like, he clearly knew he was um, sexually assaulting her. And there's actual texts where he said he was actually happy about, um, he liked raping her, basically. Um, and that, you know, he enjoyed this. Um, like I said, I don't, I I think... In the past, I've made videos on the um, webcam business, and I still don't hold anything against that. Um, and I haven't really found anything that makes me really against him having his webcam business. I don't see anything wrong with the whole sex trafficking thing because I don't see it as sex trafficking. Um, I don't think that he's guilty of that. I think more so overall... Yes, Andrew Tate is guilty, in my opinion, from what I've seen. I would lean towards he's guilty. Um, he's guilty of tax evasion, obviously, and of the money laundering. But more than that, um, the whole situation with sexual assault, he's clearly guilty of sexual assault and violence against women. He's admitted to even breaking a woman's jaw. And here he's admitted to raping and actually liking raping a woman so I mean like to me it's interesting that so many different Andrew Tate <clears throat> fanboys will try to ignore this recording or they will try and gloss over it as if he just said he his favorite color was pink or something like they're not even going to address this um recording like if you're trying to say that Andrew Tate is not guilty, address this. Address this. And, you know, there's been some people trying to claim it's fake, but I have not seen enough information as to why they really think it's fake. It sounds like it's his voice. You know, it's clearly him saying this. And there's text records of him saying the same thing. And it's to the person who's claiming and has been claiming rape since 2013. So it's safe to say that this is a situation where he raped this woman, in my opinion. He's agreeing that he raped her. She said he ra he he assaulted her. Um, and she's showing all the signs, honestly, from what I heard, of someone who was sexually assaulted. Someone who, um, one person was trying to blame her for that, but it was weird. I guess men don't think of it this way sometimes. Um, but if you, you listen to what she was saying, she was specifically saying like, um, she had a hard time accepting that it was assault, you know, someone who regrets 
um, a sexual encounter is more likely to jump to it being sexually assault. She said herself that she has a hard time admitting that that was sexual assault. So it's clearly not that she's trying to jump to it being assault. It's obvious that she doesn't wish it was assault. She wishes it was not assault. Um, so you can kind of tell that she's not one of those people who specifically is trying to claim a sexual encounter is assault because she regrets it. You know. So, I don't know. I was just pointing that out. Um, I just, I just kind of feel like Considering there's like a whole blood trail of different women saying that there's assault, abuse, sexual assault, and so forth, it's safe to say, yeah, he has probably committed a couple assaults to some women. It's safe to say he has raped this woman specifically um, on the recording that he's talking to. So um, I want to just go through the last part of what she's saying here. The, I don't want to see you like uh, a human being. I'm yeah. sorry. With the way he spoke to her, no rumors, no apology, no sympathy, nothing at all but pride. So I'm sorry. Hold on to him so that we all can know you and differentiate, like we can literally differentiate the, the ships from the wolf. Because I don't want you coming out here and covering yourself like a sheep, and then women out here be thinking that you're a good guy. All, in the other hand, all, all true, you've been an advocate supporter. Yeah, you better be the, a, a big, bold supporter so that we can know to literally, women can know to stay away from you. Because if this is who you're supporting, something is absolutely wrong with you. Something is wrong with you, and you need help, and you don't need any woman in your life. That is it. You don't. You don't deserve any woman in your life. You deserve to be alone with your bros. Now, with that being said, I'm going to say this. Please let me know what you think about this video. I mean, when I heard this, I could only imagine how the girl feels about this guy, this voice record that he sent her. I mean, you were hot, and the person that hurt you decided to hurt you some more by making a stupid, vo sending you a stupid voice breaker. I hope that she got therapy, and I hope that she got help, because this, this is very dangerous in, mentally. What he did here, nah, is unforgivable. I wouldn't forgive it. Absolutely unforgivable. Now I'm gonna say this. Let me all uh, you guys let me know what you think about this particular video in the comment section. Please like and subscribe and I will come back. Yeah, so uh, to me also uh, that's another thing. This kind of recording would make it harder for her to heal and accept that she was assaulted as well. Because it, he's pushing it in her face that she was raped and assaulted. He's pushing it in her face that she didn't have any power. He's pushing it in her face, all her pain and all her um, trauma, basically. It, a person who wants to survive and not just, you know, succumb to their own depression and everything is not going to want to admit to all that because he's making it that much worse for her. You know, you have to understand the psychological side of this. So it kind of, to me, makes sense that she still is having a hard time accepting what happened because of what he did to her afterwards. So that's all I have to say. Um, I, like I said in the beginning, kind of think it's obvious at this point that, yes, he is guilty. He's definitely guilty of tax evasion, and he's definitely guilty of violence and sexual assault, um, rape, and so forth. I do not think sex trafficking, because like I said, webcamming is a legal um, profession. So, I mean, like, if you have a company and a business for webcamming, that doesn't, to me, seem like you can have activity in sex trafficking, which is a crime, you know. But that's a different story. To me, uh, 
that doesn't change that he's still violent against women and has admitted to sexually assaulting at least one woman um, and has admitted to tax evasion. So that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Comment down below and have a great day. Bye, guys.